Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody? We are back after a couple weeks of a little hiatus. And I, I've been very compelled to do this topic for the longest time. And you know what? Finally, I'm going ahead to address this. And this is, and I'll, you can see by the title, it's directed for advice for Asian youth, for all those Asian kids that have been emailing me. But here's the thing. This advice doesn't particularly just belong to Asian youth, Asian young adults. This can span across the board, but I'll break that down in a little bit. What I wanted to do is focus on my fans who look like me, who grew up with the same background, who have you know the trials and tribulations of being an Asian American, and have reached out to me. Um, but let me give you a little background. The reason why I wanted to say this, coming from Southern California, you know, born and raised down here, we have a lot of just different ethnic cultures melting pots um, you know you name the color of the spectrum because everybody likes to define it by colors we have it here in Southern California here's the thing growing up I've had a lot of black friends a lot of Mexican friends or brown friends Caucasian white friends however you want to label it um, and, and, and I've learned so much about all these all these cultures and, and and just the way they were raised and I always kept data even when I was young in the back of my head on why things were so different compared to how I was raised, right? And the one thing I want to bring up is is just the expectation that education, obviously, plays in our role as Asian kids growing up, right? One thing I used to look up to all my black friends and all my, my Latin friends is that their family had this thing where no matter what you did for your future, they always came off as they'll support you not monetarily, but just the fact that even if they grew up a little, you know, less than middle class America, that um, they're just going to support you and love you no matter what you do, as long as you do something with your life. Now, being an Asian kid growing up, the only thing I was taught was go to college. You have to go to college. That's it. Go to college. And I think times have changed as my generation is getting older and, and then, you know, my friends are having kids and and, and things are starting to turn over because we see things. But for those who are growing up and, you know, your parents were immigrants over here and all they see is just education and you're stuck. And I'm getting these emails about, you know, what do I do? My heart is to do this and, and I have this passion to do this. But my parents think it's a bad idea. And, you know, they say they'll disown me if, if I don't do what they say and if I don't do this, that and this. Look, you know. I'm not trying to disrespect any parents out there. I'm not saying you're bad parents. I understand. I lived through it. Here's the thing. I was the black sheep in my family. I chose to do things my own terms. And the reason why I did that, two things, kids. You can't get upset at your parents, right? All they know is all they know. They were, they were raised a certain way. They only see education as you know the, the means to a better future. And so that's all they know. But here... We have been given the opportunity of one, the internet, um, two, to be able to build businesses off the internet, three, expand our minds to see different things versus what they saw day in and day out, right? We're surrounded by so many opportunity. We're surrounded by so many tech, so much technology. We're surrounded by so many people that you can bounce ideas off of. So what I'm telling you is this, I'm not saying to disrespect your parents, but there comes a time where you have to go ahead and sit down and have the honest conversation with your parents on what you want for your life. Because at the end of the day, just take it from my experience and what I did, I told my parents that sooner or later, I'm going to have to fend for myself. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to make my own money. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to go out and live my life. And the sooner that all of us can come to terms with that and, and, and just know the fact that it all works out one way or another, the sooner that we can grow as a family. That's it. You know, yeah, my parents were rough on me. My parents were, you know, they. <sighs> my dad was probably the hardest one on me because I was always thinking other things. I, you know, education, yeah, I went through college. I graduated. But I don't remember Jack from college besides networking. The biggest thing I learned from college was how to network, how to talk to people, how to read people, how to understand people, how to relate to people. And that has transpired to just bigger things in life versus just the things I studied in my books. I hardly apply that stuff. But what I apply is how I've communicated with people all along. 
And so I want to communicate this to you for all you Asian kids. And this is just a bit of advice. And I'll be doing more videos like this because in my heart, I feel as though I want to reach out to more people. And, and which is sooner or later, you're going to have to come to terms with what you want to do with your life. Because you know what? Truth be told, your parents are going to pass one day. And do you want to wait until that day to, to live your life? Do you want to wait all those years to finally take a hold of your life and say, you know what, this is what I've always wanted to do all my this whole time, and now that my parents aren't here, now I'm going to do it? No. Have that, have that tough conversation with your parents. Discuss with them the things that you know, you're passionate about, and, and set a plan. You know, The more information you can divulge to your parents about what you're doing, this is how you're going to do it, this is how you're going to implement your goals and your plans, the more they're going to feel comfortable. But if you just say things out there, and, and don't really have a plan, it just seems wishy-washy. So one, have a plan of execution of what you're gonna do. Two, have the hard conversation of what you wanna do. And three, all you're asking isn't monetary things. All you're doing is what? Seeking for your parents' support. At the end of the day, that's all it is. You're going to hustle, you're going to grind, you're going to do what you need to do because it's in your heart, it's your passion. But I know how it is, and you always just feel as though you need your parents' support in the background um, to make you feel as though I can do this, right? Um, I didn't have that liberty. Um, I just went out and did it. And I'm just sharing this with you because now years, you know, comes full circle now. My parents understand why I had to do the things I had to do, why I moved out on my own, why I hustled with three jobs to pay for college and also my apartment and all that stuff because I wanted that challenge. I wanted to grow as a person. And so I wanted to address that. There's going to be more videos about this, but I want you guys to really, for all you Asian kids growing up, it's going to be okay. But you have to understand there comes a time where you have to, be, have to become your own man, have to become your own woman, and, and make that decision to do what you feel as though is best for you. And at the end of it, what really happens is that your parents end up respecting you for making that decision and for actually following through. You know, and it's not about proving your parents wrong, even though, you know, they're you feel as though they're against you. It's about showing that you can be on your own two feet. That's the biggest thing. All right. I understand this can go across the board for all other eth ethnic backgrounds, uh, for all, you know, for for kids from other uh, backgrounds than Asians. But I wanted to attend to all my Asian fans out there, my my Asian kids that, that are you know reaching out to me, asking for advice on how to do certain things. Um, keep emailing me the certain specific questions. I do want to go ahead and, and touch base on those. There are a couple more videos like this going out that uh, I'll be really dedicating to to just providing more advice uh, when it comes to your, the Asian American uh, demographic. But again, all this advice can go across the board. So comment below, more questions, more thoughts. What's your thoughts pertain to this? If you went through this situation um, just like me, uh, please comment below on how you came about this, right? And if you're from any other ethnic background and you've seen this throughout your friends who are Asian, stuff like that, how did you, one, support or how did you feel when you saw this as you were growing up as kids? Comment below. Let me know what you think. The love and support is real, y'all. Hit me up on Instagram. Follow my daily gratitude. Follow my daily advice. I give my one-minute clips, 30 seconds of one-minute clips of just the thoughts that come to my head just to provide you guys more and more and more motivation, more inspiration, just to go out and attack this one life that we have. Remember, if you can internalize that and understand you have this one shot, this will all come to an end. Go attack it and really take this life because you only have one shot at it. I love you guys. Until next time, take care. Cheers. Awesome.